hi everyone this video is for new joinees so whenever you are going to start practicing uh, the topics that we are discussing regular basis so what is the methodology of learning okay how a student has to learn to gain the best out of best in the subject so it is our intention should always be understanding the concept and understanding the concept in real world so in reality how this is going to be helpful real world in the sense in the real world uh, in a business you can take any example of business and try to compare your technology with that particular business and the day to day tasks that we perform in the business and you need to apply this technical knowledge to see how can i implement that real world business task so this is the way you need to come up with some examples to understand all this and during our sessions also we are going to follow the same thing that we are go going to always discuss about some examples in the real world and thereafter we are trying to understand the technical concept after we understand the technical concept next we are explaining the business requirements and once we get the clear explanation clear understanding about the business requirement we are trying to apply the technology that we have learned in implementing the business requirement this is what we are following during the sessions so this is what anyone needs actually and we are providing some documentation to all of our students like we are providing theory documents by this time i mean like uh, the present batches it may be applicable uh, for other batches which are starting in future or not but let me tell you you must be receiving the student after they enroll for the course after a week time they must be receiving an email where they would be getting the details related to theory documents and the recorded uh, uh, interview uh, model interviews and interview questions documents for freshers interview questions documents complete all concepts theory wise after each session every day you must be receiving theory document practical documents with screenshots and after 24 hours of time you must be receiving the full access to video usually we say 24 hours on safer side but you should be able to access the daily recorded video within uh, within 8 hours i believe okay so now let us see how you should be following the practice methodology so what methodology you are going to follow to get a full fledged practice done to understand the concept very well see every student so when they start practicing the main mistake let me tell you the first mistake what they do everyone is fully focusing on implementing the practical requirement and they are going to open the video or they are going to open the practical documents straight away and they start from screenshot 1 2 screenshot and directly blindly they will be doing see if you follow this practice what will happen you know anywhere if you stuck in between anywhere if you stuck in between you will not be able to understand what is the problem what is the mistake that you have done and why this error is coming so because you are following a blind, blind practice so going through the practical documents just blindly from first screenshot to last screenshot to implement the business requirement the disadvantage in this process is even if you are done with completely without any issues you even if you get the output result the knowledge that you gain will be zero and in between suppose if you stuck somewhere you are getting some error message because you did not properly follow the documents still you will not be able to solve the issue you will not be able to solve the issue these are the problems so practicing the practical requirement and getting the output result that is never our goal that is never been our goal please understand this see a student has to understand the concept first that is very very important you understand the concept then try to look for the implementation methodology and we are giving all the screenshots as an example right so that you need to follow and go through and try to clearly gain the knowledge and understand what i am going to implement step by step all the steps should be there in your mind this is very very important just i'll tell you one example i wanted to construct a house see where do i construct the house first i will be constructing the house in my brain 
I will be drawing everything what I want to construct. First, the entire house to be constructed in my mind. Once it is constructed here, I am getting this into a physical entity. Okay, without with an empty mind, I cannot do anything. Before I, I am going to do any task, what to be done for the task, what is the expected output result of the task, everything you should have already been uh, designed, developed here in your mind. Then you start doing it in the physical world. That is very, very important. That is the power of the brain. So, the same process we need to follow. See, this is the process or methodology if one is going to follow. Definitely, they are going to gain the best out of best knowledge, learning any technology, any course, anything in this world. See here, for our course, coming to our course, we are providing theory documents. And second one, practical documents with screenshots. With screenshots. Third one, recorded video. And fourth one, interview questions documents. Sorry, fourth one. Interview questions documents. And fifth one, we will provide you one additional assignment. Additional assignment. And these are the things mainly high level. Okay, interview recordings and all later. See, theory document when we sign. See, you will be listening to the session in the uh, during the live session. Maybe if, even if you have missed, you have to depend on the video. See now, theory document, every one of you after the class is completed when you are sitting for the practice. First thing is, you read the theory document once. For the first time when you read it, beginning to ending, while reading, slowly you go through and try to understand, but you will be able to understand only up to 60 to 70 percent. Even though you are there in the class, you may not be able to understand fully, but go and read it second time. Second time when you are, when you are going to read it, you will be able to understand more than 90 percent for sure. First time when you are reading, all the points to clearly understand it is not possible but for the second time when you are going through it definitely you realize that okay i missed this point in the previous reading so you will be able to understand of course up to 90 percent some people it is not one two maybe you have to read third or fourth time also now see for some people they will be able to easily understand by once or twice people like me i understand anything only when i go through it four times who knows that who knows that you will be able to understand anything maybe when you do it three to four times or five times, six times, only you will come to know. Analyze yourself and try to know about it. So after this is done, two, time, two times at least when you read it, you, you understand the concept first of all. And try to come up with your own example. Where can I apply this concept in reality? With real examples, you try to imagine and understand this. That is very, very important. After that, you open the practical document. 99% of the people, what do they do? They directly open the practical document, they start doing the practice screenshot 1 to screenshot n and they struggle a lot. But what you need to do is, practical documents when you open, you do not log into your software. Don't log into your software. Never log in. Never log in. Whatever the software. If you are learning C language, C language. If you are learning Pega, Pega related software. If you are learning Java, Java software. Never log in. And first try to understand the practical requirement being that is being given to you after you understand practical requirement go through this document screenshot by screenshot you are doing the practical actually but you are not doing on your system but you are doing in your brain try to understand screenshot by screenshot first screenshot what we are doing second what we are doing third what we are doing like this all the screenshots you go through you will have some idea about it that is you are going to understand only 70 percent first time you to go to go through it it will take maybe 20 minutes but go through it once again second time again you start from screenshot 1 to screenshot n all the screenshot try to again analyze what you are trying to do the practical each and every screenshot why we are writing this why we are selecting it what is the reason how to select where to go navigations everything you go through it you will be able to understand up to 95 percent for sure in the practical before you start the hands-on practical what are you going to do what you are trying to do all that will be there in your brain and after this practical document, you go through it two times or three times. Then you put it aside 
then log into your whatever the software then you start doing the practice this time first time while you are doing the practice you may be facing an issue you forget some navigation or you don't understand you stuck there but you revise back the practical document here and there you will be able to finish if you follow this process what will happen you know even if you are stuck somewhere in between you don't need anyone else help because everything is there with you see remember one thing anyone who is practicing the same sessions what we discussed in the class and the same practical sessions what we have discussed in the class if you are facing some issue in between means that is problem because you did not follow the document simple you need to revise back to fix the issue you should not ask others if you are if you are if you start asking others what will happen you know without others you will never be able to independently work on anything always when there is a issue you look for someone when there is an issue there is someone to help you that someone is you only please understand that you are the only person in this world who can help you better please realize this and you make sure that you follow the practical document and go through it two times or three times from beginning to ending till you understand you don't understand you don't start practice till you understand you go through it after you understand it clearly then log into your software then you start practicing here and there once or twice you can review the document for the uh, anywhere if you stuck in between if you follow this process any issue in between you face you fix it for sure by yourself you don't need anyone else help and next completed then you just go ahead with interview questions document interview questions document this recorded video you never need to visit please understand this is just for revision purpose what is the purpose revision this is not for listening once again after you are there in the class if you are there in the class there is no need of this video because we have theory practical document with screenshots this practical document screenshots all together you put and make a video that will become a video you don't need this video at all actually and interview questions document you go through the topic wise we are providing go through that interview questions document and try to look at it and then start working on the assignment that we are giving you want more practice before you start this assignment the same requirement what you are doing in application 1 okay you create one more application for practice application 2 same requirement you do once again without even looking into the document you get the grip on it for sure and then start working on the assignment for this assignment you will have only requirement no screenshots no theory nothing but this assignment is going to be covering this theory and practical whatever we have done it will be a similar assignment with a little bit of more research that you have that you can do by yourself that's how we are going to design this assignment documents will be shared any will be shared to any students post 10 days of when your course commences okay so make sure that every student follow this process when you are learning any technology before starting the hands on one must clearly know about the theory understand the technical concept and read the requirement and try to do the requirement in your mind first visualize it in the reality and try to do it in in your mind completely the practical requirement what you are trying to do is there in your brain then only you start working on the practical hands on that is the way to learn if you are learning this way you master any technology for sure okay so this is what i would like to tell all of you please make sure you follow this process you may feel like okay this process is going to take a lot of time let me tell you one thing if you don't if you are following a process of just a copy paste work if you face any issue you may have to spend 5 hours even if you are spending 5 hours you will not be able to fix it because you don't know anything how do you fix it understand the system first then start the practice system you need to understand the first you need to know clearly what to be constructed and then start constructing without knowing that if you start something somewhere in between if it collapses you cannot do anything because you don't know anything okay you are doing it blindly there is no use so this five hours if you are spending from morning to evening fixing the issue one issue you are looking for help and all that means your practice is wrong if you follow this approach maybe on day one it may take two hours time overall but day two it will become one and a half hour day three it will become only one hour that is the minimum time which you can spend on learning the things now what you do on saturday sunday monday to friday the requirements that you are going to be assigned the same day you need to finish saturday sunday okay saturday sunday you revise it if sunday is not required actually saturday only only saturday so saturday you revise all the five days concepts what we do and do a revision of 
working on different requirements but you know what here you you would have spent almost 9 hours to finish all this day 1 2 hours day 2 1 and half hour day 3 1 hour 4 hour like that maximum 9 hours you might be spending in 5 days but saturday the same you will complete in 2 and half hours and this revision is the one where if you do this revision you will never forget the subject believe me after you work on the things for 15 days after 15 days you go back and see the first two topic you will forget you will not remember the first topic the only way to remember is practice again and again and again the people who are knowledgeable in this world are doing the things again and again and again and again then they are knowledgeable that's the only way that's the only approach to master any subject is do it again do it again do it again you will master it so revise it on saturdays just for two and a half hours overall everything you will be able to finish and you will never forget the subject for lifetime so please follow this process all of my dear students and you will definitely become uh, a master in the subject for sure and you will be reaching the goal that you are trying to achieve for sure without failing this will bring up the confidence in you if you follow this process okay kindly understand and thank you for spending your time if you like this video please recommend this video to your friends share like and subscribe if you have any doubts or any clarifications or any career guidance related questions you can post your question in the comment section of this video we would be always happy to assist you and help you thank you so much